Hey guys, Aaron here for the love of tech, and today we're gonna go ahead and play a little bit more with Apple. That's right, Apple has made a pretty big impression on the market as of late with the newcomers such as the iPhone mini. We have the 13 inch M1 MacBook Pro. And over here we have the 16 inch MacBook Pro 2019 completely specced out. And that is what we're doing today. We're gonna go ahead and compare this device and this device. Now, what exactly are we going to compare? Really simple. Today, I wanna to go ahead and compare how long does it take to process a video on this machine, which cost me $6,088.90. Now, to give you a quick little looky-loo under the hood here, we're looking at 16 inch, 2.4 gigahertz turbocharged, I think three point something i9 processor, 64 gigs of RAM. You heard me, eight terabyte hard drive. So that's what $6,088 refurbished will get you. Now over here to this guy, this is $2,105.76. Both of these come with Apple Care. So that price is also included, sales tax, Apple Care, and all that stuff. This is the M1 chip. So what we're gonna do is we're going to record this little bit of an unboxing, the first part of it. We're going to set it up. Then we're actually going to process the video and we're gonna record it. We're gonna screen record side by side and we're gonna make a little video and we're gonna see which one of these devices which one with the i9 goodness 64 gigabytes of ram compared to the 13 inch m1 macbook pro that's what we're gonna do and I'm, I'm 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 a little nervous this is why i'm a little nervous my return period on this has it's expired there's no returning on this but what if this machine for four thousand dollars or less outperforms this machine. What am I gonna do? Do I keep them both? Do I send one back? Do I sell one? I mean, it's just the possibilities. These are good problems to have first and foremost. Um, they're my problems. They might not be your problems, but it's my problem. And I'm a businessman. I'm all about business. I have several different companies, none of which I look at YouTube as my main business, but it is my up and coming business. Therefore, I would like the products and the tools I have at my fingertips to be the absolute very best. And I also want to be able to satisfy you, the viewers, with comparisons such as this. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it and let's find out if the 13-inch 2020 M1 MacBook Pro can devastate the $4,000 more expensive 2019 16-inch MacBook Pro. Now, I would consider this my main daily computing device if I knew for sure I could run parallels with Windows software, which there's some there's some little bit of haziness. There's some fogginess about whether or not that could happen. There's words that boot camp doesn't work on the M1, but well, parallels. And this is another thing that we're gonna find out. Maybe not in this video, but real soon. Let's get into the unboxing. I'm doing something a little bit different with my lighting today. So if my lighting sucks, I want you to head over to my buddy Ken, link to his channel right there, and I want you to leave him some grief and maybe even drop him a subscription or two. You know, he's a really good guy. He's uh, giving me some pointers on my lighting and we're gonna see what we can do with it. So if my lighting's a little off, it's his fault. Head over to his channel, subscribe, and then leave him a comment and tell him his suggestion sucked or his suggestion was amazing and this video came out great. So this is a very Apple-esque box. Lovely color, beautiful, nothing new there. Okay, this is exactly how every Apple product comes out of the box. You've got a couple things, a brick, a cord. Now we have to look for the most important thing of all. That is, did they give us Apple stickers? And they did they gave us some pretty good looking great ones. So really happy about that. Even if for some reason I don't end up keeping this device. 
I'm keeping the stickers, Apple. I'm keeping the stickers. We're going to put that over there. We're going to put that over there. Hopefully, there's enough juice in this thing to get us going. For all you sociopaths out there. All right. Keeping all this stuff going here. And just take a quick little look, Zulu. We have the 13 inch MacBook Pro M1, 16 gigs of RAM, Retina display. I went for the 500 gigabyte. Um, again, I was just kind of buying this as an initial home test type of unit. We will see if we end up using it above and beyond testing or if we keep it and make it part of our lives. We're going to go ahead and take the video as far as we can. I've got about 21 minutes of footage right now. I'm going to get Final Cut updated on here, install my plugins, and then we're going to get to edit. And I'll probably do a screen record as I edit so you guys can kind of see the workflow of what we're doing, what we're gonna make happen here. And then I'm gonna take the final cut file as it is, the final cut file, not the rendering, and copy it to an SSD or I'm gonna airdrop it over to this one, whichever works best. And then I'm gonna set them both up at the same time and we're going to hit render and we're gonna see which one does a better job. Now, if just to go ahead and give you a quick little refresher, this is 16 gigs of RAM, which my personal preference is 32 gigs of RAM, but this is 16. Over here is 64. So what we're gonna find out is can the M1 chip make up for what it's lacking in RAM with that powerful M1? I don't know. I haven't watched a whole lot of other reviews on this. So this is kind of my first glimpse at it, so I'm pretty excited. So don't go anywhere. I'm gonna to try to make this as quick as possible and we're gonna have the results and what's gonna feel like to you just a few minutes, but to me, probably over an hour. Okay, so one little thing um, we're gonna go ahead and try to do right now is we're gonna go over here and we are going to airdrop this most recent video that we just took to this new, here we go, Fours MacBook Pro, that's for the love of tech. So we're gonna go ahead and just see what some new, uh, airdrop goodness looks like on this device how quickly it's receiving it now this is a 20 minute um 1080p 30 frames per second video now i want you to remember this is a 20 minute 20 plus minute video and it's already look at that it's already transferring at crazy speeds it's already done just that quick so just wanted to go ahead and highlight to you guys um, a little bit power of this device so you can go ahead and see for yourself i'm not making it up um it transferred it it's already gone so there's nothing to see all right guys we are finally here yes we have made it to the end about a couple hours later and I've done a rough edit, if you will, maybe not quite a finished product, but enough to whittle it down to about 20, from 20, 23 minutes to about under 10. So we're gonna see how long 1080p is actually going to take us. Um, all these were recorded in 1080, 30 frames per second, including the iPhone B-roll footage, which looks pretty good if you don't mind me saying so myself. I'm going to go ahead and start this probably right at about the exact same time. Let's go now.
saw it first. You saw it here for the love of tech. That's why we did it. 10 minutes and 26 seconds. 10 minutes and 26 seconds. The powerful first generation M1 chip in this MacBook Pro 13 inch 16 gigs of RAM outperformed. 64 gigs of RAM, 16 inch i9 goodness. The i9 hit 100% at 12 minutes and 45 seconds compared to 10 minutes and 26 seconds. That's a difference, two minutes. You're thinking to yourself, what difference is two minutes? Well, if you're the creative type, you know time is money and all that other stuff. And you're thinking, what difference can two minutes really make? If I add up two minutes on every render every single day, that really only buys me back 10 minutes per week. But it might be a little bit more than that. Think about it. The production value, the timeline accessibility, not waiting for these renders to happen as often as we do. So the question is, is this device for you and is it for everybody? I think anyone looking to get a 13 inch MacBook Pro, they need to enjoy this model as long as you do not have any software limitations that you're worried about. If you have software limitations that you're worried about, I would suggest hands down going for either the older 13 inch MacBook Pro or the 16 inch MacBook Pro with the i9 chip, especially if you're looking for a bigger screen. For the time being, not all software has caught up to the M1 chip. So if you're heavy into business, if you are parallels, if you are boot camp, you might not be at a spot where you can utilize the M1 chip yet. We don't know about parallels. I know bootcamp has kind of been ixnayed for the time being, but as always, more will be revealed as time goes on. Guys, thanks for watching this video. Gals, I think there's a couple of you that watch too. Like, comment, subscribe, show me the ultimate creator compliment and share my content with your friends and family on social media. If you have made it this far to this video, I want to personally thank you for watching. If you gave it a thumbs up, thanks for giving me a thumbs up. If you subscribed, I look forward to seeing more of you in the future. Till next time, for the love of tech, namaste.